I wanted to set up a um so a very simple demo of how to um create a website with um Google Prompts API. Um first of all I need to go to my GCP console. I want to create everything at the new version. Just a new project, enable API all the other step here. Just go to my console and then I prefer to have a new project. And use my research ground without something just say demo demo for AI and some demo <coughs> and then I need to have a code space um I have a here I have a repo here and I want to just say template here just want to form it uh really form and uh, demo is and it is the second one and just here just for it and select the project now I become the default project here um to make sure I can use the service I will build with enable the API um for example I need to go to vertex maybe I'll, I'll enable everything related just go to vertex AI vertex AI and yes um, the project repo is Kong, and then I need to create a code space. And but before you could say, I want to have the customization as uh, I need to config the depth containers, and I need a, some I need some features. For example, I need GCP, a uh, Google. I need the Google command line. Just here, and also I need Python. My phone and Docker and do uh, since the uh, I need I will, I will I will deploy the project into car run and this is a Docker I need a Docker I need Docker in Docker okay Docker in Docker yes. Now I commit the changes. Okay, create a code space now. And to make it faster, I prefer to to give it more more memory so that it can run faster. Okay, I create the image now. And before that, uh, doing the you know, I enable all recommended API for Google Vertex AI. And in parallel, I want to also enable Cow One. And I need to go to Cow One, maybe just here, enable API. And. Cow one but um it's, it's it depends on a few api i better to go to actually go to car one is better just just go to car one and then um to make sure i manually create something so that it enable all the related api car run okay let's build the container here and just create a service manually so that it will help me to enable all the API, it enable the current API for me. And just uh, just pick a demo or whatever. And maybe test with a sample container here. Okay, oh, uh, just for a moment. That's with a dev container. Just this. And just a hard well. And whatever or on the MIMO unauthenticated don't need to log in yeah just create something here there's never mind just uh, I want to make it uh, make make the API is workable and here I need to build it um, before that uh, I need to also create a survey principle for the Redis AI access and the API is ready or not I need to test it I go to the language and one example for example to test this if it is working here so that the API is enabled 
okay the API is working and then I need to create the survey principle for my my for my uh, car one docker access to it service account um okay um create service account ai whatever you like ai demo ai demo yeah and then i need to um grant the permission for the roles and uh, i just type ai and i need to use the ai user we refine Maybe the permission is more than the requirement, but at least it's usable. And everyone can use this service account. Yeah. Okay, I need this one. And he is still building the container. It takes some time for me. And just double check here. I see if enable. Yeah, use. I need enable all the API just due to I click on the, the user interface. And just bet and see if. And opening eyes this and still pending. It's not ready. It may, oh, this Docker container is not wrong, so the demo will not be well. But never mind. Just I want to trigger the, the service so that the API will be enabled for me. Since it is some dependency, you need to open it one by one. It just take times and don't don't care about it. Just delete it and. Maybe just pause the video here as the build time of the doc uh, takes some time. But um, after that, I can continue working on the project. Okay, the Visual Studio Code had a code space had online, and then I need to install some pub in. For example, I need to Google Google Code Google Cow Code install this pub in extensions and just wait for a moment mm, and then i need to create a new car one applications and actually here is some example i can show me and learn more show me here but before that i need to log in my google account put a sign in and i need to click on the link open authorize it copy and go back here and uh, and then i need to set the project yeah i need to set the default project and close it and default project maybe i can just config here to let a project kit just click on it see that a project i think the project name is uh demo project name demo this one okay now can in do it in parallel i can control shift p uh leo cow cow one cow one something okay cow one something uh cow one okay um let's create a cow one application one account application new cow what cow function i need the cow one applications and just throw the the this page here um car one car one car one leave me more open yeah here's the guy and there's a deploy there's a manage but i want to create a service first create project new application oh the keyword is cow cook new applications oh control shift p cow cook new application and then it will ask for your details. It's a, this type of device is car one applications. And then it's a Frost Python applications. And then just give it the name, uh, just so AI demo. AI demo is okay. Yeah. And it, it, will, it will save the rewrite here so that you will find it will overwrite everything. CW. But never mind, just want to demo is it working. It generates the skeleton of the 
project for me and then we restart the we start the con we start the container okay and just double track here the not in not hours will be arrival you see the is you are you have been not in and here's the, the the some guideline i need to throw it to to make the deployment and it's fine and just pick the project since i don't didn't do the the setting in command line so i need to click again here okay sign in that and just update the update to file i will need to update the dependency if i want to try the try the service ai yeah i just need to one one of the example language and then i want to do something like and i click on real cook i need the word as at the case is here the name is here virtual environment no, 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 no. i don't need that i have a this one i need update the requirements and i can also create a virtual environment here as is so, so that my auto compete will be workable What's that? okay mm, i install the dependency local version and second one i need to update the docker file since there's some trick for the docker file as the as a testing i the previous i work on on it and in unable to build it use a different app print to since it's it's require numpy and numpy would not allow me to use this app print container to build it easily i need to use other other container as the basic image and the basic image and also i need to install some build tools so that it will have some c and c purpose extension and make sure numpy will workable here's the update of the docker files and here is the app application and then i install the extension and this is a very simple hollow well here i just uh i just want to have a minor modification for example i want it able to capture a parameter and capture a parameter from the request i just need to prompts i want a parameter called prompts i need a request request will be in here in flask and then i need to integrate with the uh Azure ai um that's why um the red type vertex ai and i need to be go to here to copy the samples the the import statement and then the sample code will be here and just paste it inside the hello well functions and the indentation is not correct and just fix us and okay i need to remove the the p take this is p the test i need to train it to prompts okay train to prompts here and then i just fix everything and then i want to reply uh i want to reply the 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 ai prediction command to the web interface here is message i don't need the message and i delete the message okay um just done the setup now i go to deploy it and i need to throw the the instruction here deploy the service i just click on deploy a service and then control should be deploy to car one okay should be deploy to car one so and i will create a new service and ai demo region is not matter need unnecessary verification and i need a service account otherwise it will not be able to uh as just a service i need to copy down this one and then advanced also don't need just to pause something and okay cow or i will local docker to build it and then upload it to the car and okay just deploy it and so the detail here 
you will see it, you can see it, it is start to help me to create a, the service build a Docker container. And it should take some, take a minute. Yeah, it helped me install the dependency. Oh, it's, it's okay. Just wait, just, just stop the video for a moment. Okay, the deployment should be done, although it's still saying executing, but, but from the console view, I can just go to the car run. Oh, just refresh it and then check about the... This is ready already, but, but the, the here is say it's still executing. And don't, don't have to wait for it. Just go to the console, click on the URL. And then I need to provide the prompts, prompts, um, here. Yeah, see, this is an exception. <laughs> Since I don't provide the prompts. Hello. Just say hello. How are you? How are you? But this demo is just using the basic, um, very basic one. And just so that I know prompt to model and probably, but this is, if I want to use a track API, I need to, um, have some different decision and different setup since the main problem here um this is single time and if you try to track model you need to think about how to keep the stage since uh, every web request it will be independent you need to think about how to how to handle it for example i can show you the source code uh but i don't know why the the bowser suddenly something very slow when vertex ai Wait, vertex ai I, okay, just come back. And language. For example, the track mode is different. Uh, if I want to play around the track mode, I, I just will the source code. I don't play here. But you see that there's something interesting. There's um, the API design here. You will see that there's, a, there's a, the object called the track. And then you start the track and then you continue send message, send message. Um, but seeing this design is, is, is not multi thread safe uh you need to uh research about i, I have no idea what what to do now but but at least for the track model here i i need to think about how to keep the uh the conversation and in the section or whatever uh, outside uh external database okay the demo is done and but it is something very strange for me is that um if i go back to here is the screen will already deploy and then close this i want to update i have i don't know why it will keep asking me to be the to to update again for example i want to um deploy to car one again it, it will ask me to set up everything again it is something i i have no idea why it will Ah, it's still here, it's able to reload it, and then I can redeploy it if I modify something. Um, okay, the overall demo is this here. I just showed to set up from like a, new, a, a new Google GCP project, um, enable different services related to the cloud run, the Redis AI, create a uh, service account, and then um, up generate a new Flask Python project and then modify the source code, modify the Docker uh, files and then deploy it to uh, GCP and then with a very very simple API I can I can integrate the language model if I want to have a better user interface it's quite straightforward I come to here and then I just uh there is a template I need to modify the index in docs HTML here then I can I can have different real, but just lazy here. Yeah, let delete it, and and it will become a very simple user interface for me to have a AI integrations. Um. Okay. Thank you very much for my demo explanation. Sorry.